Hello, Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today I have set number 21162, the LEGO Minecraft Taiga Adventure. This set has 74 pieces, two minifigures, two buildable figures, and without further ado, let's take a look at those minifigures. The first minifigure here we have is Steve. We get so many Steves and different combinations of armor, it's nothing too exciting. He does have the gold pants and gold boots, which would be good in the new nether update because then the piglins wouldn't attack him. He also has a gold sword. Again, these are not exclusive in any way, but that's it for Steve. Oh wait, I can show you the back. Literally nothing. But yeah, that's it for Steve. Next minifigure here is a skeleton. That's nothing exclusive either. Again, same build as always with the bow and arrow, the cool face print, and yeah, literally nothing else. Now we can move on to those buildable figures. So for the first buildable figure here, we have a wolf. I guess you can consider it a dog with a gray collar, but it's supposed to be a wolf. And yeah, this is the same design as we've always had. The only articulation is the tail, which can move up and down, which is pretty cool. I do love this piece here for the wolf head or dog head. It looks really great. And yeah, I don't have much else to say about this figure or buildable figure. The last and final buildable figure here, we actually have a fox, which is so cool because we've never gotten a fox in Minecraft before. The only problem is the face. They use the same piece as the cat from the Minecraft sets and it doesn't really work well because um, the foxes have more spread out eyes and like the face is just bigger than the cat face in Minecraft and it looks really weird and I don't really like it that much. It should be a little bit better. They should have made a new um, face piece for it, but excluding that, the rest of it looks really great with the tail being all blocky. I love that little feature. And I guess that's the articulation too, is the tail can move up and down. It is unfortunate of how the print or the, the face came off with this. It doesn't look really good, but now we can move on to the build. So for the build of this set, this is a really good build for $10. I really love all the cool pieces like these um, um, sand green um, plates. Those are really cool. I think they're eight by or six by six plates. Those are really cool to get. You do get this awesome fire piece, which only comes, I think, in three sets, including this one. I'm probably wrong, but um, you can put Steve in there if you want him to be on fire. You can um, put the skeleton in there, obviously, if it was the daytime. And you can also just put the fire around wherever you want, because if you explode the TNT and it catches fire on the grass, you can put that little flame down. There are also some other cool pieces, which is the berry bushes these are the first official lego minecraft berry bushes that we've ever gotten and i would say they look pretty good for what they're supposed to represent i wish they're a little bit more bushier because the berry bushes are more bushier than just this little tiny twig basically but you have a mushroom here and you do get these really cool um two by four jumper pieces. I can't take them off, but you get two of them there, which these are awesome pieces to get. I love the, 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 I love this piece. I'm, I'm at loss of words No, but, um, you also have a cool little play feature over here, which is the TNT explosion as always, where if you push that down, some blocks go flying. But my only question is how did he light the TNT to explode? Hmm, but um, yeah, that's really it for this build. You can pose minifigures on here and stuff, and yeah. Now we can move on to the packaging and then my final verdict. So for the box, it is the small $10 box size here. It got a little bit damaged, but on the back, it just shows the people. You can have Steve eat the berries, and it also has the TNT feature right there. Um, but. Here is the fox face that I was talking about. See, that doesn't match up. That doesn't look like the fox as much as it could have been if they made a new headpiece for it. But yeah, that's enough of my rant about the fox head. Now we can move on to the instructions. The instructions of the set, they're really tiny. They just show you how to build the set 
And then at the end, you have the play feature set all built up. You got an ad for the two big figs, which I did a review on that one and a speed build of it. And I actually have a review of this coming up pretty soon. And then you also have some sets here, which I actually have a review of that one and planning review for these two coming soon. So yeah, look out for those. We also have the piece count and then the win. So yeah, that's really it for the instructions. Now let's move on to my final verdict. So for my final verdict, this is a meh set. I mean, you do get that cool flame piece in the two by four jumpers. And the berry bushes are pretty cool. I wish they were a bit more bushier in a way. The fox is a decent, I would say. It's it's definitely, it's it can pass, but it's not good. The wolf is pretty cool. I like getting wolves and they don't come in many sets. So that's always nice. The skeleton, eh, Steve, meh. But yeah, it's a pretty fun play set and stuff. I wouldn't recommend it to people unless if they like what they see. If you like this, what you see in the set, then definitely get it. But I wouldn't really recommend it to many people. And really, I would rate this probably a B minus. It's it's not great. But um, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you think I'm wrong to give this a C plus, then write your thoughts about the set in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and all your support. Look out for some of my videos coming out soon. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.